Well, here we are at the Camp Wounded Dog Workshop. Another wild hair idea. Here is a uh, hollow wire work stove. My honey uh, really got on my case about using a kitchen stove to heat up chemicals and stuff, so I got out this old workhorse stove. <clears throat> Rat rotted a little bit, took off the side wings, the back, and I screwed it into the workbench so it's good and sturdy. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> But I got tired of having to fill up the tank every hour or so. So I thought, you know what the heck, I'll make a hollow wire and see what what happens. So, there we go. That's a, uh, a tank from one of those helium balloon things. <clears throat> Put a pressure gauge on, Amish nipple, a valve off of some, I don't know what old lantern I had kicking around. A little extra tube there in case it gets bumped um, the, the plumbing won't pull out so I got a little bit of extra play now don't yell at me right <laughs> I'm burning flex fuel that E88 you know 51 to 80 percent ethanol and it's okay the stove isn't crazy about it but I thought I'd just give it a shot and see what happened and it works you know it's not a not a real hot flame. I'm going to try. I'm running. What am I running? 12 psi now. Um, I'm going to turn off the flame, pump it up to about 20, and see what happens. This, I, this is the first test on it, so I don't know what my maximum psi is. So I don't want to have the flame on, pump it up, and have the thing go south on me and spray, spray death all over the shop. So anyway. That's it, my hollow wire stove. Man, I gotta get a life, you know? I'm so stinking cheap, I could just have the plumber come in and run natural gas out here and buy a used kitchen stove for 50 bucks, but that would be way too easy. So, hollow wire stove. Oh, this reservoir, I put, instead of running the tube right into the feeder, I put that reservoir on so you can start it with vapor just like you do if there was a real tank. So, there we go. Camp Wound Dog Workshop Hollow Wire uh, Shop Stove. Alright kids, <laughs> talk to you later. Bye bye.